Hey what's guys, me David back with another video and uh, if you saw a couple videos ago uh, that I did an unboxing of the Team of O case. Um, I was not very happy about it, the video is up here somewhere, um, but it was of an acceptable level of quality. Um, I've been using it for a little bit now. Now um, the cases uh, offer some protection but and added uh, functionality to the device. But I think another area that it really needs help on is screen protection. And of course, being a functionality nerd, um, I picked a paper texture screen protector so that it also adds some functionality to the device. Um, why did I pick a paper texture screen protector? Um, and why did I have some, uh, re not regrets, but maybe some concerns about this? Well, first of all, I picked this because I wanted to be able to take notes and have it feel more like paper. As I've been taking notes on this device, I realized that it feels kind of odd to be uh, writing on glass. It's a little bit too smooth. Now, my concern that I had was that the pen nib on the Galaxy S6 Lite is very soft. And the reason it works on this tablet is because the glass is very smooth. And so uh, I thought that with a bit of a coarser texture that it's writing on, that the pen nib would not hold up over time. Um, I still have that concern, but I think the possible benefits of having something that protects the screen and add some additional functionality is too good of an opportunity to pass up. So that's why I picked this up. Uh, this is quite expensive. It's uh, almost as much as the case itself, I believe. I may be wrong about this. So it comes in kind of an envelope type of shape and it is rather uh, a pretty case uh, screen protector. On the back there is a single piece of tape that you can just muscle your way through. And it does have a bit of an instruction on the back but I don't know if anyone's going to need instructions for putting on a screen protector. Okay, so I have instruction auxiliary tools, which um, I have not heard the term auxiliary since I've been studying Roman history. So, <laughs> alright, so in the auxiliary tools, what we have here is a dust absorber um, sticker, alcohol prep pad, whoa this is actually pretty useful, and I have no idea what this is but I can guess, yeah so it's a microfiber cleaning stick, which is interesting, and they have a microfiber cleaning cloth. The cloth feels of terrible quality, um, but it came with it for free so I guess I'm going to use it. I did prepare my glasses, um, microfiber cloth, but I'm not going to be using this now that there's a bunch of stuff, uh, just because I don't want to get my glasses dirty. Okay, so for the expense, I get one screen protector, which is extremely expensive, considering I could get tempered glass screen protectors, um, around three or like a three pack for the same price. And strangely enough, it is completely blue. Uh, I do think that this is just the plastic covering. Uh, it would be interesting if the whole thing was blue. It would be like an anti-blue light filter. So I'm going to open up the alcohol prep pad and uh, I'm just going to be going through the entire process of prepping the device and then I'll be coming back. Okay guys, so I just uh, removed all the bubbles. Actually this is for bubbles, not for uh, microfiber. And I'm going to remove the final sticker off the top. Okay, so I gotta remove the bubbles again. Um, okay, so I just, I got rid of all the air bubbles again. I was actually very impressed by the installation process. Uh, they did an extremely good job of figuring out how to make it easy um, to install this uh, thing. I did not have to read the instructions at all. Um, although I have done this process multiple times, and so I am a bit of a expert, if you might. Uh, at installing screen protectors, as is everyone at this point, to be honest. But it had very easy tabs on the actual screen protector where it said remove this first, remove that second, 
Um, it came with all of these auxiliary uh, tools that were extremely helpful, uh, which I did not expect. Most of the time, these like free tools that come with it are absolute garbage. But I used the alcohol pads, and then I used the microfiber cloth. That's also a bit of an absorber to get rid of all the uh, fingerprints. And then I used the dust absorber, basically a tape, piece of tape, to get rid of all the dust. Um, and then I thought this was also a microfiber cloth. It turns out that it has microfiber cloth on it, but it's just, uh, it's like a card for getting the bubbles out. And this is the tool that I found to be extremely useful because alcohol pads already had a couple on hand. Microfiber cloth already had a couple. Um, I had one. A piece of tape, I already have one. Uh, as most people I do think in their house. And even if we don't have alcohol pads, you can just use your microfiber cloth and rub really hard and uh, it'll look clean anyways. But this I found extremely useful because not only does it help you with getting rid of bubbles, it does it in a way that it doesn't damage the case. Uh, the microfiber cloth on the card makes it so that the entire thing is not scratching the screen protector. And that's very important for a paper screen protector just because it's a lot weaker than a tempered glass screen protector where you could use an actual like plastic card on it. But for this, I would not recommend using a real plastic card. Uh, and I'm, I'm really happy that they actually figured it out and thought about this ahead of time and made like the customer experience so much better by in including this little thing. Um, I'm at, I might actually just keep this so that I can use it for my next screen protector installations. Um, that's how useful I find this to be. Another thing is, um, one thing downside was when you remove the big blue final screen when you remove the big blue final um, plastic covering, the thing that covers the actual top of the screen, uh, if you already removed all the bubbles beforehand, you might get a little frustrated because as you remove the big blue final plastic covering, all of the bubbles reappear because the blue covering kind of lifts up the screen as it gets lifted out. And I did try like using this to uh, right behind the uh, lift, um, just to like try to make it stable and not have any new bubbles, but that's not the case. I had to remove bubbles an entire second time just because um, as I was lifting up the blue one, uh, it, it kind of got bubbles again. So you might want to keep that in mind while you're going through the installation process. Now let's go into the uh, Feel test. Yeah, so it does feel a lot more paper-like, and another added benefit is that it is a lot less prone to fingerprints. Um, in fact, it's basically invincible to fingerprints. Uh, but like I said in the beginning, I am a bit concerned by the amount of pressure that's going onto the pen nib. Uh, I do think that having this on is going to make a detrimental impact on the life of the pen nibs. So I think if you're going to buy this, you probably want to buy a couple pen nibs as well. Just because it just feels like I'm adding a whole lot more um, stress onto the tip of the pen. Just because of how coarse the surface is. So I am still a bit concerned about that. Um, overall, the feeling... I mean, it, it doesn't feel like paper. <laughs> For sure. It, it's not going to be 100% like paper. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, it's... It feels comparable to all the other paper filters I've used, and I've tried a couple. Um, like, well, my friends have tablets, and uh, I've tried writing on their tablets. And so, it, it is comparable. It's like on par with the rest of the market. It has excellent installation guides, which I find very impressive. Um, although, for the price, I would expect some sort of a premium quality uh, customer experience. I am still concerned about the longevity of the pens. And so that is my one uh, concern, my one major concern here. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I would give this product a 7, 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it doesn't feel exactly like paper. It doesn't, I have concerns about it over the longevity of the S Pen. Um, but it has a really great installation, um, like very premium feeling installation experience. And uh, the, while it doesn't feel like paper, it's on par with the rest of the market. And it makes sure that there's no fingerprints. So that's why I would give it a, like a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it's, it's not an 8, but it's a 7.5. And, and that's a pretty solid score um, overall for a screen protector. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, see you guys in the next video. I post Thursdays at 6 p.m. every week. So come back every Thursday. Or just subscribe so that you don't have to remember Thursday at 6 p.m. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.